Alright, you will appear in Hyrule Field, and just immediately you can warp, because we are a wolf, and that means we can warp. Just warp to North Farron Woods, because that's where we were told to go. Um, I'm not going to say anything about the cutscene, I think it speaks for itself. Okay, so coming into North Farron Woods, you will notice one of the monkeys from the Forest Temple, and it will get attacked by these weird floating scarecrow-like creatures. I don't know what they are, but you want to kill all of them, and then the monkey will stop cowering and squeaking. So it tells you that there's a wooded area over there near some more woods that we couldn't get to before because we weren't a wolf, but now we can. So walk up. No, don't talk to Minna. You'll be able to jump with Minna. There we go. And uh, yeah, we ne we weren't able to get here uh, last time we were here because actually we might have been able to. Um, earlier when we were a wolf, but I'm guessing it's probably closed off at that time. So you can't actually get here. That's just my guess. Maybe it's not. Maybe you can get here. I don't know. But uh, you just gotta wait for the platforms to spin. And then try not to get knocked off by these swinging things. Really? They should lose their momentum eventually, but they never do. They just keep swinging forever. Alright, right up here we have a Howl Stone. So it's up, down, up, down, middle, up. Up, down, up, down, middle, up. Oh, that did it. So that's uh, two wolves that we can find, which means two more hidden skills. I think we have two already, is that right, or no? Maybe we only have gotten that one. Uh, it's either one or two that we have. No, wait, no. We have two. Yeah, we have two. We have Ending Blow and Shield Attack. There's two more we can get. Um, there's also another Howl Stone here, but this is not a... Um, <clears throat> hidden skill howl stone. This is a howl stone for something else. Basically, it's the song of the trees in this place. If you didn't see this place, it's called the Sacred Grove. I totally messed that up. And it's a pretty sacred place. Let's see if that does it. I think that's it. Yep. When you finish the song, from up in this tree, a little guy with a hat um, and a lantern, similar to those of the pose, will come down. He'll blow his little horn, 
and more of those scarecrows will appear and he will run off and now what we have to do is this kind of part is this part is a little bit hard I mean it, it's very confusing because you don't have a map of this place basically you have to find the horn player and attack him and the first time is pretty easy he's right behind this oh no he's in front of this tree um, and you just want to attack him then he'll disappear with his horn he'll keep blowing his horn so more of those um, monsters appear those scarecrows appear just from the sky um, mostly I just try to avoid them although you will need to kill them sometimes because they can they will catch up with you they just they just ap keep appearing so I never find it very useful to attack them and uh, necessary cut right there sorry about that but necessary cut is necessary all right when you come back into this room here um, I think what you want to do is there's a waterfall not come back here we weren't here before um, this is a new room you can enter from that other one there's a waterfall go behind the waterfall I'm all the way up and he'll be right here this is actually the first of two times we have to play this sort of game with him um, the, sec the first one some people consider easier some people consider harder I think for the first time playing it's harder um, just than the second one if it's your first time although I find it a little bit easier um, now that it's my third playthrough I know where he well this is my fourth playthrough now but you know what I mean like third playthrough was last time like, last time I didn't have too much trouble with it either and uh, I don't actually remember where he is but I, I just remember when I see um, I actually know I remember where he is now I just don't know I did then and I'm not totally sure where I'm going I think this is the right way uh... no oh yeah see he's up there but we can't yeah we, we can't get to him Minda's telling us to use um, the, f the field of darkness when you hold down B to kill those I don't find that a very good strategy as you can see if you might have seen he is up there we need to find a way to get up there and that way is right over here see I tried the field of darkness and that time see it killed some of them but it didn't kill all of them so I don't find that strategy very useful I just try to avoid them and kill them when I have to alright he's all the way at the end of this tree passage before this was blocked and now it's unblocked okay so that's the third time we have to get him now he, it's not over there is still more we have to do. As you can see, he unblocked that passage, so just hop right down. And uh, I should find some hearts. Uh, just a rupee. Nothing. Hmm, I guess there aren't any hearts. I don't really want to go back and look, because I'll get lost, but I guess I kind of have to. Um, yeah, no, there aren't any hearts. As I remember, there are hearts in the battle. So here he is. And this is sort of a mini boss fight, because he, he won't attack you, but his scarecrows will. Um, there are four or five of these little platforms in this battlefield, I guess you could say, and, uh, He'll poof from one to the other, and the time and you want to attack him when he's on them. The times you want to attack him are when he's blowing his horn to create more scarecrows, because otherwise he'll just warp away and you won't get it a chance. Like I'll show you right now. Uh, well, that wasn't good, and I wasn't able to attack him here. See, the second you try to get up, he'll poof away. So really, you want to do a jump attack on the platform so you don't actually have to climb up. Which is why some of these higher ones aren't very good for attacking him. See, there's a heart. Yeah, these guys give you hearts. There, I got him once, because if you notice, he was starting to blow his horn, which is the perfect time for attack.
So you just have to get him three times like this as well. See, that time I just got attacked so my field didn't work. That might have killed one of them. If you kill all of them, I think he'll start to blow the horn again. So, or maybe if you just kill most of them, he'll start to blow the horn again. So that's uh, what you want to do. Kill them, occupy them, he'll start to blow the horn, jump attack him. And do, just one more time we need to do that. And uh, he wasn't blowing his horn, so we missed him. See, that was an ideal place to attack. If you're standing on one of these, then you can use um, the force field attack to get him all at once. There we go, he's dead. Well, not dead. He never, he doesn't die. And he'll actually speak to you here. Hee hee hee, bye! So basically he just wanted to mess with us. He, he didn't try to, he wasn't trying to kill us. He just wanted to play a game. That nearly got us killed. And very confused. Alright, coming into here. Um, we actually, this is actually a very important place in the game. Um, we come back here later, and it's very important now. Uh, we have a song to play. Again, although it shows you right exactly where you need to play. I think it's the same song. Oh, also, you might not have noticed. The song that was playing um, in uh, Whack Where We Were is... a. Uh, remix of Saria's song from the Ocarina of Time, and I actually really like it. So, what's this? Now, this is actually a puzzle. It's the hardest puzzle in the game, and it's really pretty hard, and we're going to be doing that next time. Although I know the answers. We are guardians of this land. We're going to be doing that next time. Um, we're going to be doing the puzzle, because I think we've finished what we needed to do. Only then can you enter the true sacred grove.